Hey there, wanna know how I turned week two into a money-saving masterpiece? Are you intrigued? Well, by the end of week two, I actually had more money in my wallet than I did the previous week. And for those of guys, those of you guys that have tuned into my channel before, I actually don't have a full-time job. I actually haven't had a job since October of 2022. But stay tuned and I will tell you how all of this happened. Today, we are diving into the highlights of week two of my no spend challenge. In a way, it was kind of uneventful, meaning I had no extra expenses. Well, I actually had nothing that I needed to buy this week. No car issues, no vet bills, etc. I spent quality time with my pets. So obviously that's free and my foster cat, Loki, he's still with me. He's been with me for a week now. I was just thinking, how long has he been with me? Loki has been with me for a week and he's doing really well. I did, he's having a hard time with the food that I had gotten him. He just doesn't like the wet food. So I did have to buy more food for him from Amazon, but luckily, Paws Patrol, his, uh, the rescue that I foster for, is reimbursing me for it. So that part is good. And then I went ahead and on Friday, I'm going to skip around a bit because my mind never stays on track. Anyways, on Friday, to thank my friend that had run an errand that drove me around the previous week when my car wasn't working, I went ahead instead of buying her dinner, which is something I normally would have done, I used stuff that was already in my refrigerator. I had a home chef meal, which was Greek style penny with Greek style beef penny. And then for the salad, I had two chopped mini salads. So that worked with the penny. And then for dessert, I remembered I had in my freezer out in the garage, I had pistachio almond ice cream from Blue Bunny. So guess what? That cost us nothing. And then earlier in the week, I really wanted something sweet. And since I couldn't buy donuts, I used ChatGPT to create a banana bread from some of the bananas that were going bad. And as you know, me and bananas, they always end up going bad. So it tastes pretty, uh, better than good. It tasted really good. Oh, and I wanted to buy new picture frames for my gallery wall, but instead someone told me about how I can make homemade picture frames. So that's a project I intend on doing this week. And I'll be recording that video to show all of you guys. And then what other thing? Dealt with stuff around the house. But then the awesome thing and that I found out this week was I went to my mailbox, something I never do. The post office has shut my mailbox down several times thinking that nobody lived in my house, but I went to the mailbox and I discovered a gift card for my sister from my birthday, which was last month. So I, she gave me an Amazon gift card. That's extra money. And then I have a home buyer's warranty that for something that I had forgotten to fill out from last year, and they sent me a check. So Amazon gift card and then the home buyer's warranty, that was $150. What else happened? Oh, I decided to look through my subscription, video subscriptions, found out that I wasn't using Netflix as often to justify even the $6.99 a month. So I went ahead and canceled that. It had already been billed for April, but for May, it's gone. And then when I looked at, when I had gotten a text message from American Express, 
It says I was being billed for Peacock. And I do not remember the last time I watched Peacock. So there's that as well. But then my nephew's birthday is coming up next month. Not next month, the end of this month. And I needed to get him a gift. And since I'm on a no spend challenge, but I can't go without getting him a gift, what I decided to do was look through my purchases from Amazon last month and anything I hadn't used yet, I was so excited about getting them and getting them to my house. And if I haven't used them in two weeks or three weeks or even opened the package, they're going back to Amazon. So I packed up these items. I got the QR codes. I'm going to the store tomorrow to return the items. And from those returns, I will be using it to buy my nephew's gift. And his gift is gonna be less expensive than my returns because I was in a shopping spree. But that's how I ended up with more money this week, a fatter wallet, the $150 from Whole Buyer's Warranty, the gift card I got from my sister. And that wraps up week two of the No Spend Challenge. Hope you guys can join me for next week for the next update. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hopefully turn on the notifications button because I intend to go through the rest of this month on this no spend challenge and maybe next week I'll have more money. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.